here at the RE Plus 2024 trade show with Blue Eddy. And we have Brian here that works at Blue Eddy. He'll introduce himself and tell us a little bit more about the new product that they just launched today. It's not officially launched, it's not available for sale yet. Uh, debuting it, right? We're, we're, yeah. <laughs> we're previewing it. We've been working on this for a little over a year. And uh, this is our upgraded uh, home energy storage system. So, uh, what this unit is, is able to do that our previous haven't been able to do is mainly is has the ability to do a, a 200 amp pass through so that the switching that's all internal into the unit uh, if you want to take a look here so we, we have the lugs have been upgraded so that now you can run your whole home power through here so this this would input into uh, you know your home and this would go back to your main panel so we're able to do the switching inside the unit. Very yeah. unique, no one else is doing this. And then we also have the ability to uh, parallel up to three of these units. We control them with this box. And this box has a, a very fancy display on here that's gonna show you exactly what is going on with your system. It's got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, cloud connections, cell, cell uh, capability. We'll even talk to certain utility meters uh, so like here in California, if your utility company has one of the, uh, the ability to say uh, what we call demand response, and that's, yeah, I want to send a signal to, usually it's a, like turn off uh, uh, air compressor or something, you know, air conditioner compressor. This would send a signal to turn on your battery so that you're taking pressure off the load, uh, off the uh, grid. And then we, the great thing this about one, this for DIY. I thought this was pretty cool. I yeah, thought this was really cool. Yeah, yeah. So like, say you're DIYing this, right? And uh, you want to install one of these and so I have a few customers that are installing this today actually uh, and this is where we're switching over to Ethernet that has uh, like power over Ethernet this is what we call Modbus this talks to each unit and the, this is the brain then of the whole unit this is what's controlling all you know two or three of the units so that we can parallel systems so you can par parallel three of these together right Yes, and for larger installations, we also have a, an ATS. Uh, this isn't the the final ATS. This is a like a prototype, and essentially what this is is where we will have the ability to have intelligent load shedding. It, it will not look like this on the inside, oh, but on the outside okay. it'll look. Right. Oh, it's fine. Right. Um, but this has the 200 amp pass through. It has uh, the ability to have each one of these units interface into it, and then add a generator, add existing solar. It's really, really great if you want to have the, the generator, existing solar, let this be what we call the mid device, that microgrid interactive device. Instead of that switching happening here, it would happen here. But this is for like a little bit more sophisticated microgrid where you have uh, you know, a separate generator, maybe you have some already existing solar, and you have multiple units. So tell us a little bit more about what this is actually capable of and and how much output and Absolutely. how much capacity. So just if you're not familiar with uh, how Blue Eddy does the, our, our stacking, is we need a minimum of two batteries. And we've upgraded these batteries. This is the IB500. It's 4,800 watt hours, some passive cooling. Uh, you can have, with two of these units, the, we're able to you know, drive the, uh, this top unit at uh, uh, 7,600 watts. With three batteries, it's 11 thousand watts and with uh, four batteries then you get the full 13.2 uh, kilowatts of continuous output oh so now, as you stack the batteries the watts go up so you really need four right. four batteries to get your 13,000 yes that's right and uh, also from the PV side so something that we've done to match a, a close competitor is we've added more MPPT you know solar capability so we're able to have uh, one two three four trackers each one has 15 amps of input so that that maximum then would be 22,000 watts of solar input rapid shutdown uh, this is using Anderson connectors uh, to connect to the batteries in a daisy chain uh, this is where that this port would plug into an Internet of Things device. So you guys changed this then? From yeah, this is different. From the AP uh, yeah. 800 to 900, this was just like Yeah, it used to look like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, so we've changed that out in this model. Uh, 
we can still use it with the older models, but there's just a dongle there that uh, converts it. So this has changed too from the yes. uh, B500 batteries yeah, so because there used to be a breaker. Own, yeah, it used to be a breaker. Though. Now it's like a switch breaker. Yep, it's a little switch there. What's the, you said three of these together, how many, ba uh, four batteries in each one of them? So you have a total of 12 batteries. Yes. Okay, all right. And now that puts us, what would that That's put us at? 60, around the 60. That's an energy hog. That's somebody like me. Hot yeah. tubs, everything. Yeah, yeah, you need, yeah, yeah. You need to power that hot tub. We got EV or something like that. Yeah, yeah cool. Are y'all doing the EV chargers? Are you? Have you? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, uh, oh, let's see. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> we we might, might have one coming out soon. All right, cool. Soon. All right. Uh, I don't think it'll look like that one, though. Oh, no? No, it'll, <laughs> it'll look like a normal EV charger. This, now, is this IP64 or 65 or 67 rated? So you can this unit this, is, yes. It is, okay. So you can set this outside with everything else? Yes. Okay, all right. Yeah. And again, probably don't want to face this to the south if it's outside, or does it matter? We have a cabinet that would go over it. It's an aluminum cabinet. Okay. You can totally put it outside on the south facing wall, but you're going to want to cover it. Cover it up? Okay. Keep the EUV. Don't you, you have two different uh, cabinets, right? One for two batteries, yes. one for four, or something like that? So if you have a small, smaller stack like this with two, we have one that uh, goes up to here, but for a very small fee, you can get the larger one, yeah. and then that gives you the ability to upgrade. The full capacity. You know, in, yeah. in the future. And what do we got here? Yeah, this is the AC500 with our new B300K model batteries. So the B300K has uh, some upgraded components. Uh, the capacity is 2,764.8 watt hours. So it's it's a thinner battery mm -hmm. and that gives it a little bit better stability. So you can stack them up a little higher. Uh, and then what we've done is we've, uh, we've it's actually taken away a little bit of the DC. We have one uh, USB port. Uh, so, you know, basically less points of failure in that. Um, design it should drive the cost down a little bit capability of it exporting power uh, is uh is pretty significant this here kind of eliminates that so instead of having two different models we'll just have one model battery and it can handle the ac 300 or the three or the 500. okay and i think even the 200 max and the 200 max and the 200 l i think 200 l yeah. yeah anything that uh has basically this connector here it's called the p50 uh, that kind of connector is very similar to an EV connector. Right now, I have two of these batteries hooked to an AC 300, and then I have two uh, B 300s connect to another AC, and I'm running 240 yeah, yeah. and powering my shop with it. One thing I like about these batteries is that you can't see it now, but they have that um, secure on the back, so you can secure this facet to the wall okay. to keep it from toppling over. Good so, point. Uh, but yeah, these are, I was very impressed with these batteries. And if you guys have been watching the channel for any amount of time, just a couple of videos ago, I did a full review on these batteries. Yeah, it's a solid battery. Uh, in the near future, you will see as we upgrade our, our product line. Um, right now we have the cables that kind of come out like that. Uh, you'll start seeing us slimming them down where they'll come out at 90 degree oh, 90. angles. Yeah, a lot yes. of people are asking for that. So a lot of people have asked for that. We are delivering. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I so, don't know what the timeline is of the refresh for these, but I imagine by CES, uh, we'll be unveiling a new, uh, a new addition to this lineup. So everything basically be the same except for the way it connects. Is that kind of what we're looking for? Uh, there'll be some uh, very significant increase changes oh, in the, yeah. yeah there's gonna be some uh all right yeah something to look forward to it's good they'll all be compatible with, with these units but the okay. next generation that's coming out that's being designed is uh very impressive awesome i can't wait all right brian appreciate thank you, thank you. yeah